Good evening. My presentation is about vernier scale design 4.05 mm caliper resolution. I have talked in the previous presentation about the vernier scale design for the 110th mm. Now I'll talk about the second type, which is 0.05 mm. As you see here, this is the vernier caliper resolution it is 0 0.05 we need to understand regarding the different lengths of the vernier scale and regarding the the way how to compute the least count so for this vernier caliper we have two styles or two designs regarding the length of the vernier scale the first one, which is in the tab photo, as you see here, the distance of the vernier scale. So this is the range of the vernier scale. So this distance is simply equal to the distance between zero line on the main scale and line number 19 mm. So in this case, the length of the vernier scale is simply 19 mm. So one can ask what happens if the length of the vernier scale is longer by 1 mm? So instead of becomes 19, it is 20. So I'll talk about this issue. Regarding the second style in the photo below, as you see here, the vernier scale length is longer than the previous one. So this is the distance of the vernier scale for the second design. So the length of this vernier scale is simply the distance between the zero line on the main scale and line number 39. So the the length of this vernier scale is 39 mm. And in the top we have 19 mm. Again, one can ask what happens if the vernier scale length, instead of being 39, it becomes 40. So, in general, actually I have talked about the least resolution which is one tenth mm so regarding this presentation i'll talk about the 0.05 m resolution as we know we have a vernier scale which is divided into 20 equal partitions so we have two styles or two designs regarding the lengths of the vernier scale we have 19 and we have 39 mm Let's understand the vernier scale length with 39 mm. So we know that the vernier, vernier scale length is 39. So in order to compute for this distance, simply we can get this distance by dividing the total length of the vernier scale, which is 39, by number of partitions or divisions which is 20 so in this case we will have a 1.95 so 1.95 mm is the minimum reading on the vernier or the minimum distance for the vernier scale so this distance is 1.95 regarding the distance between the zero line on the main scale and the second line on the main scale simply it is 2 mm it is 2 mm so how we get a least count or least reading of 0 0.05 simply if you open the 
caliber so that the first line on the vernier scale lines up with the third line on the main scale so in this case the reading becomes 0.05 mm so the least reading is simply the difference between these two values so one vernier graduation length we already compute for it which is 39 divided by 20 it is 1.95 so the least count is simply 2 minus 1.95 mm so the result is 0 0.05 mm again one can ask if the length of the vernier scale instead of being 39 it becomes 40 what will happen if you try to compute for the length of one division on the vernier scale it will it will be 40 divided by 20 so it will be of two millimeter length so what will happen in this case in this case this length instead of being 1.95 it will be 2 mm for the newest style sorry this this line again this distance if the length of the vernier scale instead of being 39 it becomes 40 this distance will be 2 mm and the distance on the main scale between these two lines is again 2 mm so what will happen in this case the zero line on the main scale will line up with this line and also line number 2 mm on the main scale will line up with the first line on the vernier scale and this line on the vernier scale will line up with line 4 mm and this line will lie line up with line number 6 mm etc so it will not work so how we solve for this issue instead of having 40 mm we have 39 and this 39 mm length is divided into 20 equal partitions so each partition becomes 1.95 so this is the way how to compute or to get the least count to be 0.05 mm regarding the second design of the vernier scale as i have said the length of the vernier scale in this case which is this distance is simply the same as this distance on the main scale so this distance is 19 mm so in this case the vernier scale length is shorter than the previous one so it's 19 mm so in order to compute for the one graduation or one division on the vernier scale simply we can compute for this by dividing the total length of the vernier scale by number of graduation which is 90 so it will be 0.95 mm so it is less than 1 mm by 0.05 mm so this distance is 0.95 and regarding this distance on the main scale it is simply 1 mm so one vernier graduation length is equal to 19 divided by 20 so it's 0.95 mm so the least count is 1 minus 0.95 which is 
0.05, which is the least count. Now, if we have a vernier scale of length more than this length by 1 mm, so instead of being 19, it becomes 20 mm. So what will happen in this case? So the one division on the vernier scale will be with length of 20 by 20, which is 1 mm. And 1 mm is the minimum reading on the main scale. So in this case, this distance, instead of being 0.95 mm, it will be one millimeter. And this distance is again will be, it is already one millimeter. So what will happen? This line will line up with this line. The first line on the vernier scale will line up will, with line one mm on the main scale. The second line on the main scale will line up with the second line on the vernier scale, etc. So all the 20 lines will line up with 20 lines on the main scale. So in this case, the vernier creeper will not work. So how we solve for this issue? So instead of having 20 mm, we have 19 mm, and we divide this 19 mm into 20 equal partitions vernier scale. So this is the concept of the least count for the vernier caliper with 0.05 resolution. Thanks a lot for your watching. Goodbye.